The extension for Autodesk Mudbox 2014 offers new support for real-world production workflows. Artists can now create topologically symmetrical meshes while retopologizing. Using this troll character as an example, I'll adjust the target base face count, further adjust the face uniformity, and then underneath the new symmetry menu, I'll define symmetry based on axis. I can work with mirroring between left and right in X, between top and bottom in Y, or between the front and back in Z or Z. Here I've selected left to right. Once I've hit the retopologize button, the end result is a mesh that is topologically symmetrical in the X axis, mirroring from the left to the right side. However, one of the challenges in working with symmetry and retopology operations is encountered when dealing with asymmetrical features. This character has some nicely sculpted asymmetrical features that we want to preserve, yet it would be nice to have this mesh take advantage of tangent symmetry for further sculpting and painting, as well as for any other requirements down the pipeline, such as facial rigging. Using typical mirroring symmetry, we might end up with something like this, where the right side has been mirrored across or using the other side, we end up with a left mirrored mesh. Both that have resulted in interesting models, but we have completely lost all of the interesting asymmetrical characters sculpted in the original model. Mudbox now has a solution for this. So I'll just move this model over, and underneath the retopology menu, I'll set my base parameters, and then under symmetry, I'll choose based on source topology, since I am working with a mesh that has been sculpted with tangent symmetry. And when I hit the retopology button, you can see that we now have a mesh that is topologically symmetrical. And when using mirroring in tangent space, we have preserved all of the asymmetrical features of the original mesh. In this example, we have some scan data of a dinosaur skull. As you can see, one of the common issues with scan data is that pieces or areas of the geometry can be missing. Now in Mudbox 2014, we added the ability to quickly go in and work with these issues by simply patching holes and fairing, or averaging, the selection based on the surrounding faces. Well, we now have the ability to also use symmetry outside of retopology. So with an existing mesh, I can define the side I want to preserve, the side that I have patched, and then just hit the Make Symmetrical button. This is going to produce a nice, clean, symmetrical version from the scan data. Of course, like retopology, the operation is non-destructive in the way that it preserves your original mesh and produces an entirely new version. In addition, the extension of Mudbox 2014 adds a new caliper tool to help artists accurately measure the distance between two points in linear space, or along a curve, making it easier to match a required scale. This is also a very useful tool for sculpting, checking anatomical proportions or for keeping proportions in relation to the original design or concept. So there is an overview of the powerful new symmetry tools for retopology, or for using symmetry for existing meshes, such as scan data. As well, we took a look at the handy new caliper tool, all available in the extension for Autodesk Mudbox 2014.